To get into FPV, you essentially need three key things, a drone, a radio, and goggles. In order to fly your drone, your radio and the drone need to be able to communicate through a radio link. This can be a very detailed, technical, and somewhat confusing topic, but I'm gonna make it simple and easy to understand, so when you go to buy your radio and your drone, you don't make a mistake and buy the wrong one. There are a number of different radio protocols to consider when getting into FPV. Express LRS, FreeSky, Crossfire, Ghost, and Tracer, to name the most common that you're going to hear about. Let's start with Ghost. It's not offered on any pre-built drones or available as an option on any radio that you should consider buying when getting into FPV. So Ghost is the first elimination. Tracer is pretty much in a similar situation to Ghost, so it's eliminated as well. When you're shopping for a radio controller, you'll come across three different versions of each radio. The CC2500, a JP4M1 multi-protocol version, and an Express LRS version. And you may have also seen these radio links paired with another link called Crossfire. These are all different radio chips and all speak their own language. The CC2500 can talk a language called FreeSky, the Express LRS speaks Express LRS, and Crossfire speaks Crossfire. But the JP4M1 multi-protocol speaks a range of different languages. When shopping for an FPV drone, you'll see them sold with different radio receivers, or which language they can understand. So let's just stop for a moment at the CC2500. This can only talk to some FreeSky receivers, such as an XM Plus or a third party receivers that have effectively copied the FreeSky language. And matching compatibility with FreeSky hardware is an absolute nightmare. And when you do have compatibility, the range and penetration is absolutely horrible and you could lose your radio link just meters in front of you. So the CC2500 is eliminated. You may now think that the multi-protocol version is a safe bet and a simple decision. After all, most radios today have a module bay that allows you to add Express LRS or Crossfire or any other radio link to your controller. Back in 2019, this would have been a safe decision, but today it's not so much. And here is why. FPV originally borrowed radio links from RC planes. These served their purpose a few years ago, but you won't see them on any FPV drone today. The main radio options you're going to see, or what receivers are on the drones, are FreeSky with options like an XM Plus, RXSR, D8 or D16, Express LRS in 2.4 GHz or 900 MHz, and of course Crossfire. Now going back to these old RC links, they're not even offered inside of FPV anymore. And as I said, you're best to avoid FreeSky. But what about all the other weird and wonderful RC links that a multi-protocol version can do? Well, I haven't seen a single person use any of them. So a multi-protocol radio today is really pointless. Thus, it's eliminated. It seems we're left with an epic battle to the death between Express Lewis and Crossfire. Now, which is better, easier, and has more features? This is a debate which has as much passion as iPhone versus Android or DJI versus HD Zero. The other thing is, when it comes to Crossfire, that's only offered on a single radio. And for all other scenarios, you're gonna to have to buy a Crossfire module to add it to your radio. So buying a radio with internal Express LRS is going to meet all of your needs and make it much easier to buy any kind of FPV drone. Whether it's a little whoop, all the way up to a five inch and for every single purchase. Then if you want, you can add Crossfire through the external module bay. This is my Radio Master TX16S Mark II and it's got internal Express LRS and I've also added a Crossfire module at the back. It gives me the best of both worlds. But knowing which radio protocol to choose is really kind of pointless if you don't know which radio you should buy in the first place. So watch this video here to find out which radio controller is best for you.